Hi, this is Bill. I want to show you today how to go about doing a recording of a student reading. Um, this is specifically for a kindergarten student at this point, but it could be used in a lot of ways to create that digital portfolio using a webcam. Um, the webcam that I'm using today is just an IPVO. It is a um, $60 webcam, works really well. And basically what I'm trying to do is I want to be able to take a student's piece of writing and put it under the webcam, have them read it and record it quickly and easily and then be able to store it in my Google Drive. So to get started with this, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to attach your webcam. Now the IPVO itself is just a USB webcam. Plug it in, the drivers will download and it'll be ready to go. So it's really straightforward, really simple. After you have that installed and the, the little uh, message disappears, then you can go and you can choose the webcam that you're going to use in order to record. So we're just going to use um, Movie Maker. This is the Windows 7 version of Movie Maker. Makes it really easy to record from a webcam and just is a quick little quick way to do it. It creates the video right there. So first thing I want to do is be sure that I'm using the right webcam. So I've opened up Movie Maker and I'm going to go to the drop down, which is kind of the old file menu, and I'm going to look at options. And inside of options, one of the options that is there is audio and video. And this is where it will give you a list of the available webcams. So you just want to be sure that you're using the right webcam because if you have a webcam on the computer, or if you have other devices attached that have cameras on them, it may try to use the wrong webcam. So in this case, I'm gonna to go to my available webcams, come down here and make sure I have this IPVO point to view, okay? As soon as I click okay, I can go and I'm back on that main Movie Maker interface and I'm just going to click on a webcam video. And as soon as I do that, you're gonna see that right here in this space, it's gonna show me whatever is underneath that webcam. So I, I just have this iNicole um, document and it's about socialization and online programming. But this is where you would have your kids put their document, whatever they're writing is. Now, take note, video is landscape, okay? It's always going to be that landscape view, not portrait view. So if you have kids write on a regular piece of notebook paper, they're, they may need to move it up or down depending on what you know on how long their writing is however if they're using landscape notebook paper then they can just turn it like this and you may want to you know put it on a um, book or something like that because the IPVO has a fixed um, height for its webcam or the, its stand has a fixed height and so you know you may need to mess around with that so you can get the entire thing but at that point, your kid puts the their paper underneath the webcam, and you're just gonna come out right up here where it says record, and click record. Now it's gonna start recording. You can see right down here, just below it, it's, it's recording me right now. They read their stuff, go through whatever you have them, if, you know, if you want them to reflect on it, what have you. When they're done, you're gonna click stop right up here. And what that's going to do is it's going to prompt you then to save that captured media. So I'm just going to put test video and I'm going to save it on my desktop. That's fine because what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it into my folder anyway or my Google folder anyway for that particular kid. So I hit save and then I'm just going to pull over, here's my Google Drive. Let me minimize Movie Maker. If I look, what I will find on my desktop is a video called Test Video. Now that's the video that I just created. Saved it on my desktop. You can put the assignment name, the kid's name, whatever it needs to be in there. Inside of Google Drive now, I have a folder that is a test folder. This is Craig Kindergarten. I have a folder that is test folder. I'm gonna open that up. Here is the student that I that just did that reading. So I'm gonna open that up. And if you are in Chrome, if you're using the Chrome browser, all you have to do is take that from your desktop and drag and drop onto your, into that folder inside of Chrome. It's going to upload it. As soon as you see it, 
Down at the bottom here, it says uploaded. As soon as you see that, you see your test video right here. That video is now part of that student's folder. Inside of our apps environment, we have unlimited storage. So this is a really good way to build that digital portfolio and see over time what it is. Now over here where it says last modified, this will also show the date that it was uploaded. So one of the things you should be you know, kind of sure about is whatever those naming conventions are. Figure out what is it that you want to put under the name. Is it test video? In this case, do you want the student's first and last name? Do you want the date? Do you want the assignment? All of that is important because as you get more in here, you're going to want to be able to find what you're looking for quickly and easily. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, please let me know.